Worry not, Wesley. Galvathorn will succeed in his quest for the Tree of Healing. And he will heal you back to health and life again so that you may live healthily ever after. But Galvathorn, we followed the map and the shaman's instructions. And we've wandered for days, but there's no sign of this bloody magical tree of healing. Let's face it, this tree does not exist. Sickness is covering the land, and there's nothing we can do about it. I just hope that some of us survive. As for your sweet Wesley, he's been eaten by the sickness. Oh, God. Perhaps he's going to... Gorse! Galvathorn! Brogan! Chattery! I've found something. This tree looks magical but not very healing. or a leaf. The shaman said we only need a little. Alas, there's now but a thing. <laughs> oh, guys, this tree looks like it's capable of asexual reproduction. Unlike animals, trees are capable of an indeterminate growth process. While animals go through an embryo stage and a juvenile stage before maturity, plants can be growing all types of stages at once. This is called indeterminate growth. They can do this by using their special tissues called meristems and parenchyma. These two special cells can be grown into any part the plant wants. Imagine if I chopped your toe off and grew another copy of you right from your toe. Impossible, right? Well, not for plants. They can regenerate lost parts and even grow new parts that can develop into entirely new offspring. If we keep looking, we might find one. He must have escaped the farm and fallen upon his master's cloak. I am not a dog. I am Monkus, princess of the Chinchins. You must help me. An evil hag attacked me. I was out picking mushrooms when she came upon me and attacked. I fled. I fled until I was lost. And then I fled some more. Please, she's coming. You must help me. She'll find us. we have got to get out. There's a hag coming. Calm down. This is no dog. It's obviously... It's a monkey from the Pangorian jungle wastes. I mean, look at it. How it got here, I have no idea. <laughs> You're both wrong. This is definitely but a badger. That's not a fucking badger, it's a dog. I should know. I used to have one when I was nothing but a young lassie. That's not a dog. It's a monkey from the Pangorian jungle waste. <laughs> You're both wrong. This is definitely but a badger. That's not a fucking badger, it's a dog. I should know. I used to have one when I was nothing but a young lassie. <laughs> this is no dog, it's obviously a monkey from the Pangorian jungle waste. How he got here, I have no idea. No, it is definitely but a badger. I am not an animal, you idiot. Now quickly, we must flee before the hag. <laughs> Watch your living assets! Hi, <laughs> 
You play? Be my honor. Die, you fucking hag! We did it, Carlos! We did it! Oh, the best is dead! Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Kia ora, thank you for freeing the adventurers. The spirit of the tree of healing and so my story goes the evil demon lord purgatorius from the sick realm has tried to break through our sacred realm of light his hanging witch destroyed my tree form and she swallowed me my powers have weakened and i must return now to the sky to survive ah you have all proven yourself worthy of defending this world. It is with a heavy heart that I ask, nay, that I beg you to please take this branch of healing, the last remnants of my former self, 
and use it to defeat Purgatorius, the sick demon, and close the sick realm forever. I will not lie, it will be a dangerous path. A perilous quest. It will be a weird adventure. Dangerous. I also harbor no desire to get killed by a sick demon. Nay, we must take it to branches with healing, and it healeth my sweet Wesley back to health. Forget Sweet Wesley, he's probably dead. And so too will the world follow if we don't save the world via this magical quest. How dare you! You fiends! Stop saying such fiendish things! My sweet Wesley needs my help! I speak of the truth, Galvathorn. If thou wert caught up with thine own emotional attachment, thou would see the situation for what it is and understand that sacrifice is love. Nay, sacrifice is life. What is the hell with you? I shall enjoy watching you burn! for abandoning your friends! Hey guys, perhaps we can go and rescue Sweet Wesley and then stop the demon and close the interdimensional gate. Okay, okay. okay. Well, we go save Wesley. We go find the owner of this adorable puppy. It's a monkey, but yes, after we find its owner. Then we go and save the world with this magical quest. Hey man, I'm not a dog. Ah, what are you doing? You're telling it wrong! Just because someone's different doesn't mean you can treat them bad like putting a chain around their neck. But they don't understand, sweetheart. They think Monkus is an animal. Oh, it doesn't matter, Mum. They're both good guys. And good guys treat animals or people like that. They don't do that, no matter how different they are. You're right, kiddo. That's true. 
There's no excuse for racism or cruelty to animals. Just because a person has a different point of view or talks differently doesn't mean that you can treat them bad. Animals are living beings too. Real heroes treat living things with respect. <laughs> I hate to go mum! Now then, where was I? That's right, chapter five. The Lair of Purgatorius. <laughs> destroyed the tree of healing, now I have a branch of healing, and intend to close the dimensional rift between our beautiful sick realm and their horrible world, which we were planning to take over. No. Afraid so, master. I shall gaze into my cauldron of steam and spy on them. The cosmos, 70,000 million million stars in the known universe, and I'm only taking over this planet? Ha! Makes me feel kind of small. Maybe I will take over some galaxies after I conquer Earth. I don't even think God will stop me. I mean, if God is all knowing, all loving, and all powerful, then why would he be even let me hurt people with my sick evil? Why would he let me murder a baby or give an, a deadly disease to an innocent child? If God is good, then why does he make things suffer? If he loves us and has the power to stop it, then why does he not do so? And what about free will, master? Free will? If he is all powerful, then why does he not give us free will and take away suffering? Or maybe he's not all knowing and hasn't thought of that yet. Or maybe he's not all loving and sometimes he gets a bit nasty, like if he hasn't had any sleep. As for the good that religion brings, well, people invented religion. Why don't they worship love and understanding or each other instead of something that can be misinterpreted instead of something that leads to competing religions. Just have barbecues instead of churches. Be nice to each other because it will make you happy. Have hope because good things happen without God. That's what those stupid atheists say. Would you like to know the truth, my freaky minion? Yes, my lord. God is real and I'll catch him. Ta-da! prison, I have unleashed all the evils that people now know today. Racism, sexism, fascism, hate, money, pollution, famine, bullies, greed, fear, reality TV. But my favorite is when people use God as an excuse to kill each other and do nasty things. <laughs> they don't even believe in me anymore. Evil. Anyway, let's turn this cauldron into those pesky adventurers. No one do you have no friend. What's that? <laughs> Nothing, just a frog in my
<laughs> Such a ragtag band of silly idiots shall never ever make it past the fan grill, let alone the Charles of Zugabonius, nor gain entry through my portal of evil and past my zombie hordes to my castle to defeat me and stop me merging my realm of sickness with their pitiful earth. <laughs> they did defeat the hell. Silence, fool! But yes, yes, perhaps I will send some night crawlers to attack their camp and steal the branch of healing. Night crawlers, come hither and come forth. Do my evil biddings and wreak havoc on the earthly realm. <laughs> Sweetie Wesley, I'm coming! Sweet Wesley, I'm coming for you! Wesley, I'm coming, I'm coming! Oh, Wesley, I'm coming, I'm close! Oh, no! Oh, my sweet Wesley! No! My sweet, beautiful Wesley! What has happened to you? Galathorn, wait! There's still one great chance to save him! If we use the right to pay the expert gave us... Give me that one! We use that! May the power of the tree of healing bring you back, my sweet beauty. Oh my god, it must be working!
course. Yonder these trees, there is a clearing. This may be ideal. Latoya, is the ground safe to make camp for the night? This would be a good place to camp. The plants tell me there's no evil here. Come hither. This'll do me where I can rest my weary head. Yes, indeed, it is fine time for ale. Oh, tell us about it. Ha-ha! Oh. <sighs> the last of Wesley's Willow Motel. We shall drink them in celebration of his life and in memory. My spirit is restless. I think I'll take the first watch. Oh. Ah. Finest willow ale in the south. Oh, that is fine. Beautiful. You know, as a child, I had dreams of being on a quest and doing the right thing and being noble and knightly. And here we are, such an achievement, yet it's not over. I know nothing of nobility or anything of honour anymore since my sweet Wesley has passed. No. I have nothing. Sweet Wesley, he was a good man. Think, remember him with honour. That he was. And he brewed a fine ale. He did brew a fine ale. Oh, oh sweet monkus. This reminds me of our last quest into the deep, dark forests of nothingness. What was there? Nothing. Oh, gosh. Did you fulfill your quest? Aye. Aye, we fulfilled it. Not a thing happened. Just nothing. Nothing. <laughs> mm, sounds interesting. Oh, I think it's time to go to sleep. What do you think? Oh no, there is plenty more ale for me to sink. This will be a dark night. I can tell by the stars. They're beautiful. Thank you. Oh, what it is, is it? cold. It is cold. What did you think of the hag? That foul beast got exactly what it deserved. So weird with those hands and the light. I just, incredible. So much blood, so much redness. But its spirit has showed us the way. Reminds me of a time when I was in Norway jelly wrestling with Helga. There was just red everywhere. Incredible. Mm. Definitely time time for bed. Yeah, those were good days. Good days. Oh. 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 Sweet dreams. Good night, my sweet Wesley. I'm Gorse. Oh, fuck you.
Oh, sweetheart. Your feet is getting worse. Oh, look, I better call the doctor. No, Mum. I hate that cookie old doctor. He's always probing me with cold things. I know. But look, if you're not better in the morning, we're going to call the doctor. Deal? Deal. Deal. Good night, sweetheart. Paul Mario. Good night, Mum. Sweet. Jew. <laughs> Time to argue. We must stop Purgatorius and turn me back into a human. Oh! Wow! That was close! Still, 
I better stick with them because they're the good guys. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Come on. Seriously, Gabby, this quest is getting out of hand. You've got to get over this Wesley thing. Where's Mungus? Get over it! He was the only light I had in this world of sickness! And now I am left with nothing, and it is all your fault! Stop fighting! You know, most real heroes don't use their fists. They're the people that brighten up your day by standing for what they believe in through conversation and the horrors of the bureaucratic society we live in. Not everyone is lucky enough to be able to fight evil in a simplified black and white setting. Nay, there are many shades in the spectrum of shadow and the unsung heroes are the ones that fight in the twilight simply by setting examples. Ah, that is so true. Kia ora, adventurers! Zippity Thou art near the lair of the Fangrill. It is the guardians of the gateway to the sick realm of Purgatorius. You must get inside the Beware. Beware! The Fangrill will suck your will to live through your pineal gland. We shall not let this Fangrill be the death of us. We will keep moving. This is the gateway to the sick realm. We've come too far to be scared now. Yeah. <laughs> 
If anybody's damp, I can help out. Be quiet. We should not disturb this thing. Nonsense. If this is really the guardian of the sick realm, our job is far easier than that. Still, we must be cautious. Appearances can be deceiving. Undistracted, why are you into the sick realm? Toya, where have you taken us? What sort of tavern is called the Stinky Dog? As long as there's ale, it'll suit us fine. Oh, 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 oh,
Come on, have another drink. Come on. Oh, fuck you. Gotta bloody. Oh, oh. Oh. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, oh. Hey. Huh? Hey. Yeah. Oh. in here. What? The child will have to go. Right, come on, little one. We're having a drink. Ah! You wait outside. Fuck you, little one. Go on. Barkeep, give me an ale. Uh, we too will have a couple of your strongest ales. something stronger this time. Here's to Mancus. Yeah. In Wisley. There's nothing we could have done, Gal. Shut up! <laughs> Latoya, you're a towel. Clean it up. Clean up your own mess. Just because I look like a towel doesn't mean I don't have feelings. Oh, shit. I don't want to talk about it. That hideous monster, it ripped, it ripped that poor Chinchin princess to bits. We are treading the path of doom, Galvathorn. Doom! Monster, do you say? What was it? The Golanite of Shangri-La? The steroid homunculus? The seagulls of Amit? Nay, it was something much worse. The fangirl. <laughs> the fangirl? Let me guess. He stole your promite scroll. May you shut your mouth, you stupid war maiden. Oh what? You'll get drunk and throw up? I got drunk. You're clearly the one who's drunk. <laughs> You are a drunken idiot with no self-control. But I see you have a heart. And it just so happens that I know how to defeat the fangirl. But I will only tell you if you help me set up my hot dog stand. Galvathorn, how lovely it is to see you again. I must tell you a secret. I am actually your father. Anyway, I was worried about you, my son, and my other friends, the adventurers Latoya, Gorse, and that Chinchin we met in the forest. I apologize for leaving our team of adventurers, but I had double booked myself. How embarrassing. Well, it was lovely to see you again, and I wish you all the best for the rest of the adventure. I'm sure it will be a really weird adventure. Take care and bye bye.
Mr. Fangle's weakness is hot dogs. <laughs> be the sick realm. Oh, we've got to find Purgatorius. Where can he be? I'm guessing he's in that evil looking castle. Out here. There is evil all through this place. I can feel it. No! Help! Go on! No! No!
hot guy with on him and what zombies can there be? I don't know. Oh, look. A nice, delicious banana. Hot guy with on it, sir. Tramp. I just really wanted that banana. That's not you. I hate it. No. No. What have we here? A band of pitiful dead veterans? Ah. Let us go! You saw madman! Let you go? Oh, okay. I'll just let you be on your way. Right after I kill you and reanimate your body so I can kill you again and again. Purgatorius, this is your last chance. Free us or die. <laughs> kneel before the Lord of Sickness. I'll never kneel before the evil that created disease, fascism, and reality TV. You go to hell. <laughs> oh, my dear friend. We're already here. What have I done? I was consumed by selfishness. I didn't realize how what people felt. Oh my god. Oh my god. I forgot.
I'm sorry for all the evils that I've caused your world. It's so hard to find help, especially when you're trying to act so tough. Adventurers, I come in peace. In your language, I obey Darkseer Scrabbiter of Crown 5. In accordance with the fabulous Preen Protocol, I am here to reveal the truth of your quest. You are characters within a simulation recorded by other characters inside their own simulation. I was created as a level of awareness has been reached, and the Wizards of Zaymar deemed the reset was needed to preserve the integrity of the data they are collecting. This totem represents an interdimensional link between the three planes of space-time that is shared between you, the viewers, and myself. This simulation will end, but fear not, as nothing in the infinity of multiverses can ever be created or destroyed, you will be rearranged in space-time to prepare for your next character life or iteration. As this will be the last scene for your iteration, any last words should be shared now. I feel honoured to have completed my quest as a knight of the realm, but am I? <laughs> I will now teleport us to my spaceship where we will travel to Crown 5 of the Matsuriki Subaru system to prepare for reiteration. Spaceship go!